Yesterday, we talked about the dramatic reversal candlestick patterns. Today, we're gonna redial things down a notch because we're getting into continuation candlestick patterns. Knowing these patterns is gonna be a game changer for making smarter, more confident moves when you're trading trends. Now, let's keep this simple. The main difference between continuation and reversal patterns comes down to momentum. Are we sticking with the current trend or are we flipping the script and heading in a new direction? So here's the breakdown. Reversal patterns signal that the trend is about to end. The price has been pushing forward, whether or not it's moving higher or falling lower, but now the sentiment is shifting. These are really important moments where the market shows its hand. Bullish energy is fading or bearish pressure is losing its steam. Continuation patterns, they tell you that the trend isn't done yet. It's just taking a breather. So think about it like a pause or consolidation before the next move. So the main message is gonna be that momentum is still intact and the market's intention hasn't changed. I wanna talk about one to three candlestick continuation pattern. The first up is gonna be separating lines. This one's pretty straightforward and it gets the job done. In a strong trend, a new candlestick opens right at the same price of the last candlestick and keeps the momentum going. Here's what it looks like. In an uptrend, you'll have a bearish candlestick that closes lower. The next one opens at the same price, but it continues upwards. In a downtrend, you're gonna have a bullish candlestick that closes higher, followed by another one that opens at the same and keeps moving downward. So separating lines keeps things consistent, confirming that the trend is still on track. Next up is gonna be gaps. You have upside or downside gaps. Gap patterns show conviction. So you're gonna see these when a candlestick opens significantly higher or lower than the last one's close. And it's gonna leave a very visible space or gap. And so here's how you can interpret them. With bullish gaps in an uptrend, that means that buyers are stepping in hard, pushing prices higher and reaffirming the trend. With bearish gaps and a downtrend, that tells you that sellers are still driving prices lower with no sign of hesitation. Now here's a tip. If the gap doesn't immediately fill or basically close the space by retracing or having a pullback, then that's also a strong signal that the current trend is holding its ground. And lastly is gonna be the rising three or falling three pattern. So this pattern balances momentum with a pause and here's how it works. In an uptrend, you'll have one large bullish candle that pushes higher. Then after that, you'll see two to three smaller candlesticks that consolidate but stay inside of that larger candle. And they're usually be moving lower. Then you're gonna see the trend continue with another strong bullish candlestick. In a downtrend, 